Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. One of the most common myths that we hear a lot of coaches teach their students is that you shouldn't use a short cross-court shot unless you have a chance to finish off a point because your opponent will then have an easy angle cross-court or down the line and put you under pressure. Now why is this a myth? Very simple, if you think about it logically, every single time you use a good short cross-court shot, your opponent has to run really far. So that makes any shot that they're trying to produce very difficult to hit. Aside from that, most people are not playing against Roger Federer, or Rafael Nadal or Novak Djokovic, and they will not play against an opponent that runs over there all the way off the court and comes up with a brilliant response, short cross court or deep down the line into the corner. As long as that's not the case, which again is not the case for the majority of the population in this country, you got to understand that most people will struggle to return your short cross court shot no matter what. And if you don't think about the consequences, logically, if you play a short cross court shot, you have a wide open backhand side of a right-handed player, obviously, after hitting that short cross court forehand. So that gives you a lot of opportunities after because it doesn't matter where your opponent hits their next shot, you will have an opening that you can exploit as long as your ball control is good enough to reach that opening on the court. Now, obviously there's a couple of things that slightly change if you're trying to play a short cross court and then recover into the right spot after that. We'll link a video up here in which we talked about the optimal court positioning depending on what kind of shot you're hitting. But just to give you the gist of it, if you're hitting a short cross court shot that's a good angle, you should not recover all the way back to the center of the court, but instead you should position yourself a little bit further over to your forehand uh, half of the court because you need to cover for the worst case scenarios of your opponent in a way that you can reach both directions with the even amount of steps. So make sure that when you're using your short cross court forehand, hitting the ball slightly off the court, that you're recovering somewhere over here rather than over, uh, recovering all the way back to the center. So you're ready for a cross court shot from your opponent as well as a down the line shot, which you can then exploit and play an easy shot open uh, into the open half of the court. In conclusion, don't be afraid to use your short cross court forehand or backhand and don't fear the consequences of your opponent's shots because as long as you learn how to cover the court afterwards, you'll always be in an advantageous position because you're pushing your opponent far off the court, making it difficult for them to hit a great shot since they have to move very far and you can exploit the open half of the court after your short cross court shot. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.